What is this thing? It's an asteroid, sir. It plays just like a scene out of a disaster movie. NASA's latest mission plans to send a small spacecraft on a collision course with an asteroid. Asteroids have been hitting the Earth for billions of years. That's not new. What's exciting and new here is that we're actually taking the first steps to be able to prevent that potentially in the future. And that's where DART comes in. NASA's Double Asteroid Redirection Test, or DART for short, is a first-of-its-kind test of planetary defense. The mission is scheduled to launch in November, putting the spacecraft on a collision course with an asteroid in September or October of next year. It'll come speeding in 15,000 miles per hour um, in to hit this uh, smaller asteroid. This is just a test. The asteroid in question is not on a collision course with Earth, just close enough that when the spacecraft actually hits it, a small change in its orbit could actually be observed from Earth. It really is just a small nudge. The key behind this is uh, deflection, not disruption. We're absolutely not trying to disrupt this asteroid. We're just giving it a small nudge to change its future path. A small nudge like this could be enough to redirect a similar-sized asteroid from a collision course with Earth. But this mission is really just a first step. So DART is one part of NASA's larger planetary defense strategy. And it's not just all about deflecting asteroids. A really important part is finding all of the asteroids and tracking where they are. Tom Costello joins us now. Tom, this is just so fascinating. But the asteroid is relatively small. I think it's only about 160 meters in diameter. So how does NASA plan on hitting such a small target with their spacecraft? It's about the size of that big Las Vegas Ferris wheel that we're all familiar with, right? But the trouble is, DART is traveling at 13,000 miles per hour. It's a speeding bullet, and it can easily miss. It has an onboard navigation system, but the trouble is the lag between that space vehicle and Earth is so great, they can't have somebody back on Earth using a joystick. The onboard nav has got to do this using photographs to try to zero in and then hit it straight on. Straight on. It's going to be a challenge because this is really like hitting a moving target in the middle of nowhere. Really fascinating stuff. All right, Tom, thanks for that. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.